Hi guys, welcome back to another review video. Um, we got something different this time. Yes, we are having, or oh yes, I am using my toolboxes again to hold it up. Um, this is something that's going to help cut this type of wood. Obviously, you can't use the saw that I showed you last to cut this type of wood. Um, it's, we could, but it will splinter over the place. I'm not saying this thing won't, but it should do a better job. Um, yeah. It's... Let me spin it around, you'll see exactly what it is then. So it's a scroll saw. Uh, I've wanted one of these for a long time. I don't know why I didn't get one. Um, I love woodwork and stuff like that. So why not get into it? So let's crack it open and see what happens. See what's like. I don't know what we've got to cut yet, but I'm sure we'll find something. I want to go burn through that wood. So. I don't even know how to say this. Switzer, Switzer, Swit. I don't know. I don't know how you'd even say that. Uh, but you've got your manual there. You got a category at the back there of something. I, I don't know. So it's well packed, as you can see, which is good to see. To be fair, with something like this. Um, not much to it, to be fair. Not much to it at all. So I'm guessing that's... God, Jesus, it weighs some though. I don't expect to weigh that much. Got your guard. And you've got the actual cutting bit, the blade. And again, a couple of angies. So, let me put that on the floor. And get this up here like this. Oh, okay. Comes with two blades. There's one already in there. Um, never heard of this make before. So, don't know what to expect. Um, I paid 85 quid, I think, for this. It is... I don't know, I'll find, I'll find bits for it in a minute. All the details are there anyway. Just that from that. So, I've never owned one of these before in my life, so I don't know where to start. It's looking like, like a hard plastic outside, and then you've got the metal here. Um, you've got mountain points, which is nice. So long as cable is. I want to say this cable is probably the same length as the uh, saw that I showed you last. warm again today. So yeah, I'll definitely say the cable is about the same length as the last one that I showed you. So here, you look like you got, let me just speed around quickly. Here looks like you got an LED light. Okay. Um, here I'm guessing is so you can hook up an air compressor to keep Keep the um, dust away and stuff. Uh, what's this do? No idea what any of this does. Guess I've never owned one before. So, good experience to have. Alright, okay. And so there. So, 
this one here is to loosen off the blade okay so obviously if you t tension it right up you can't push down on it if you loosen it off you can push down on it enough to change your blade or do whatever you need to do like options on there so turn that back up um, this one here is obviously to deal with this to allow this to go up and down to whatever size wood you've got you've got, I'm guessing this lever here yep, just like that so you've got your angles there as well you've got your zero, exactly the same as what was on the saw I'll show you in a minute Yeah, so this for here will be where you can connect your compressor up to, I'm guessing, to like keep the uh, dust away. Unless that's where it goes up there. Oh, that might be where it goes actually. Don't know, I'll we'll have to switch on and find out. LED lights, it's, that's, that's nice to have. That's actually really nice to have. Here, that looks like dust extraction so you can have your um, hoover. You got your on and off. And you've got speed. So before I go switching this on, I'll quickly take you off and show you a little bit more of the detail. So you've got here that uh, 230, 50 hertz, 125 watt, max cutting depth 50 mil, max cutting width 406. I don't even see that properly, there we go. You've got your mounting parts here, like I said. And of course, you've got all the common sense stuff. You've got this, the plate that the wood slides on. And here's the angles I said about. Uh, obviously, for your hoover. And you're on and off. And then go around this side, and it's just the motor and nothing else. Um, there's literally nothing else at the back there either. So let's get you set up on your tripod again. I like this new uh, quick, quick on and off thing. Let's move this a little bit over here so you can see it there. Switch it on. I've got it on very low at the moment, so let's see what happens. Wow, that's quiet. That's nice. I don't know if that's. I don't know if that's burnt air or not. So, one way to test that would be to grab this. That's nice and quiet, I like that. Yeah, it's blown air. So, let me turn that off. And that goes into that one up there, like so. Okay, so it's uh, got your little LED light there, which, yeah, okay. Not great. Not great at all, to be honest. But okay. So it's the fastest it goes up to. Obviously that noise will be because it's on tall rocks and stuff like that. That's, that's max in there. So, okay. It's got its own little thing for blowing air. Okay, not bad. But the amount of air that's blowing, I can't see that making much of a difference there. LED light? Not great. Um, Yeah, okay, it's, it's helping a little bit, but not great still, okay? Um, let's, let's see what it's like with this bit of wood, shall we? I mean, I'm going to do just this bit. I'm going to try and slow it first, shall we? Let's readjust this. So I'm going to readjust that completely out of the way. 
right part here. Whoa. Like that. Move that completely out of the way so you can see better. Take a while, Let's speed up a little bit. Let's do it about halfway. Pretty impressed with that. Really impressed actually. And let's see what's like on full pouch, shall we? Okay guys, um, yeah, for the price, for the price I paid, I'm not complaining about that, that's quite thick wood as well, so, yeah fine, it's not great, but that's where sanding down comes into, it's cut clean, but if you want to smooth the edges, oh, that's smooth anyway, Jesus, uh, you sand it down. I'm quite happy with that. Um, let's see what else. Let's have a go with a uh, good old laminate hook again, shall we? So I'll turn it right down again onto slow. And we'll see what it does for us. So it hasn't, it's wet, yeah, but it hasn't chipped it or anything. Let's just speed up a little bit halfway. Again, not bad. Not bad at all. The best thing you can do is when you get something new, get some old wood, if it's in this case, and just play with it. Best way to learn. Do you know what? I'm wishing I bought one of these a long time ago. <laughs> God, I'm wishing I bought it a long time ago. But even down to the very corner of that. 
Oh, sorry guys. Yeah, done to the very corner. It's not chipped. It's just done nicely. And it fits. It fits. It's nice. So what can I say about this one? Um, again, like the saw, I'll have to get back to you and let you know. So far, wow. It's uh, really good. I wish I got one a long time ago. The only disappointing thing is... Really, the main disappointing thing is the light. That's the only thing that's disappointing. So I, you'll see what I mean. Let me turn it right down. Like, see the light? The light on the camera here looks amazing. But actually on this it's not great at all. It's it's just not great. But do you know what guys, it is what it is, right? It is what it is. Let's see if it blows anything away. Oh it actually is. Okay. But yeah, that's uh, that's gonna be it for that, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed that video or review, anyway. Um, I'll see you again as I'm going along and doing stuff. I'll let you know what it's like. Um, but I'm gonna see me having fun with this. I like it. quite good fun. But yeah, anyway, guys, thanks ever so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that video. Did that left anything there? No. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed that video. Take it easy, and I'll see you in the next one.